To find the oxidation numbers for the lead in PBSO4, this is lead to sulfate, we'll use these rules here. First off, you'll note there's no negative or positive sign after the PBSO4. That's because it's a neutral compound. And all the oxidation numbers, they're going to add up to zero. So all of these oxidation numbers will equal zero. What we need to recognize to figure out the oxidation number on the PB here is that we have a sulfate ion, SO4, and that always has a 2 minus ionic charge. So this is the sulfate ion, and because it's an ion, all the oxidation numbers in that ion, in that SO4, they're going to add up to the charge on the ion. So all of this here, when we add these oxidation numbers up, we're going to get a minus 2. We write the minus before the oxidation numbers, but after the charge. Okay, so we have a minus 2 for our oxidation number. For everything to add up to 0, this has to be plus 2. So we have minus 2 plus 2 adds up to 0 because we have a neutral compound in PBSO4. If you need to figure out the oxidation number on the sulfur in the sulfate ion, there's a link in the description on how to do that. This is Dr. B with the oxidation number for the PB in PBSO4, lead 2 sulfate. Thanks for watching.